All right, everyone, Savage is here. Uh, sorry for the little hiatus on the last video. Uh, had family in town over the weekend and I just did not shave at all. Shaved yesterday, finally, but you know, before work. But it is around, I don't know what time it is here in Virginia. It's around one something, I don't know. But doing a real quick shave. Uh, new pro, well, I'm not gonna say it's new, it's been out for a while and I've been using it for a while, I just never got around to reviewing it. But that's gonna be the Suavecito Premium Blends so they shaving cream and aftershave in the whiskey bar scent. Now, like I said, this is a cream. It's very similar to like a Purasso or um, what's the other one? I don't remember. But yeah, it's not a soap like I typically use. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that real quick. Uh, I'm gonna pour it right smack in the middle of my smiles bowl there. A little bit. You don't need too much. It's like a little, little bit of rattlesnake venom to get you so far. see right there nice, nice small little dollop nothing too crazy uh, for the brush I'm going to use my uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Phantom Aerolite the summer pool edition all right brush nice and wet and start it, see how it goes so it's actually years upon years upon years ago this was actually the very first shaving cream I ever used that required a brush and a bowl however um, I sucked at it and it was horrible. I ended up using the whole tube in like three days just trying to get it right and I just wasn't, you know, doing it right. But uh, right off the bat, I get hit. The big hit I'm getting, the I'm getting hit with is uh, got a little bit of water, it's a little thick. Big, uh, right now I'm getting hit with a huge hit of eucalyptus, which is good because my nose is, you know, it'll be good to get that under my nose because it's a little dry here in uh, Virginia right now because of the changing weather. My oldest just had a nosebleed, actually, so I had to do, yeah, had to help her, help out with that. So, all right, it's lathering up pretty decently. It's, I mean, I know it lathers up good. Just I'm showing you fine people, you know. Maybe just a. A tiny bit more water just to really make it explode, especially if I want to get that eucalyptus scent going too. So I got some here on the, you can see it's nice and loaded. It's gonna take whatever's left from the rim right there. Oh, oh, oh God, I almost went right in there. All right, let's go ahead and work it in. Hope well, everyone had a good weekend, a very good weekend. My mom and stepfather came into town. It's always really good to see them. Got a fresh haircut today. And so I'm feeling really, really, finally feeling like a human being. You know, I get one on Sundays, but like I said, I have family in town. And, uh, I can see. All right, uh, razor and blade. Use my Henson with a uh, Astra Blue. I believe it's in there right now. No, we're gonna keep this quick. We're just gonna go straight for the kill, as I call it. Doing this wet the face style. So, for anyone who doesn't know uh, Suavecito, they started as a uh, a uh, men's grooming company. Well, they are a men's grooming company, but they have also expanded to you know women's lines. Uh, they started with the uh, the pomade, uh, water-based pomade, one of the first other than like Lay Rider, you know the uh, I believe Lay Rider Suavecito were among the first actually, if I'm not mistaken. But I used to use a lot of Suavecito. Used to just uh, you know. I like other things now but I've always loved their 
the other grooming line, like uh, their shaving cream, their shower gel. It's always very nice. It's very, very wonderful smell. The original Suavecito smell is very nice, too. But since I've started, you know, wet shaving, they do have a very incredible uh, shaving product. And if I'm not mistaken, they do make a soap, a shave soap as well. Uh, I'm going to have to look into that one and make sure because I'm probably going to get that sooner rather than later and test that out. I've never used it, I've only ever used this right here. Do a second pass for you know shits and gigs really. Other news, I'm. Like I said in my last video I had to switch companies due to conflict of interest with a uh, piece of shit individual I had to work with, and uh, really enjoying where I'm at now. It's uh, you know, some things I'm planning on changing because hate to say it. A little soft there. I'm just either I'm mean or they're soft, one of the two, but I'm gonna, you know, uh, Frank, you know, we're just gonna do a second pass because why not? And, uh, so, right now, it really does have, like, a whiskey scent. It's it's really weird. It's like a barrel, barrel whiskey scent. And, uh, I'm also getting menthol. The eucalyptus is hitting me really good right now. I'm not going to put it up my nose, but, you know. Right there. Under the nose is actually really wonderful to smell it. Alright, uh, so specs about it. The scent is. No, I won't lie, it takes a little backseat to the eucalyptus. The eucalyptus is, I'm not saying it's overpowering, but it's. The whiskey bar itself is. It's there, it mixes well with the eucalyptus, but I'm still getting the eucalyptus over everything, which for me, it doesn't bother me because I love that smell of that herbal, you know, the eucalyptus. I do love it, so that doesn't bother me one bit whatsoever. Um, the cushion is wonderful. The glide is absolutely amazing, actually, but like I said, uh, cushion is great. Uh, my second pass, I, I whipped it a little lighter on the face, just for the sake of saving time. But, really good slickness. I mean, even on my upper lip right here, which is always a hot spot, you know, for irritation and drag for some reason, because my hair is growing weird on my lip, or above my lip, which couple weeks I wanted to worry about that because it will be uh no shave November and uh well I'll have to shave still I'm going to grow a mustache and it's gonna be looking I'll be looking like Errol Flynn or fucking Vincent Price or one of those guys you know nice 50s pencil thing because that looks best on me change the blade on because I think it's my fourth time running this blade. Yeah, you know that goes. But still, love this razor though. <laughs> and next to my Phoenix or my Gillette Heritage. It's
easily my favorite razor. And right now, this shaving cream, my love, my Verasso. I'd love the other ones that I have. Stuff right here is an absolute game changer in the world of modern um, tube shaving cream. Sorry. Oops. Barbara missed a spot earlier, so I got a little touch up right there. There we go. And. Put it in there. Ooh, the hair looks good. Thank you, Locks. All right, rinse off real quick. We'll be right back. Which you know it has to match. Come on now. This is and this one is not. I don't know if there's any eucalyptus at all in it. This one though, you get a real big hint of menthol. Not even a, hint, a big hint of it. Like you can feel it there, but this is where the whiskey bar scent really comes in. That bourbon, that aged like oak barrel kind of smell. That's where it really comes in. And I'm really digging it right there. It's really phenomenal it's got a good decent sting to it it's definitely got alcohol I hate doing this but I know I fucking just missed a spot there we go but it's got a pretty decent little sting to it very cold though menthol is very prominent in there which I absolutely love so one more one more little splashy flashy yeah, he's blended herbs and spices. Alright. Closing thoughts. Yep, alcohol, water, fragrance, and menthol. Yes. Alright, so closing thoughts on these two. Yeah, I like it. It's, well, I've always liked it, but you know, it's my it's got the my it's got my seal of approval because uh, it's got it takes that modern it takes a modern edge onto an old classic, and that's what I love about it. Um, like I said, they sell other fantastic products. Uh, you know, their pomade really was like the first thing I ever tried of theirs, and uh, you know they just kind of took off from there, you know. But that is all I have for you. Um, stay tuned. Giveaway announcement. We're getting that rolling again soon. Um, try, not trying to jerk anyone around with that anymore. Um, I'm gonna find something, damn it, to give away. You know, some from my old, from my own stock in here. I don't care. But uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And uh, hey, everyone, have a good week. It's Tuesday. We're one day closer to Friday already. Uh, Wish I was having to sign it off.